Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are ready to move to our new base location. Uh, so I've done a few things off camera. Uh, I've loaded everything I want to take with me except for items in the preserving bin inside of Grayla here. Uh, so she's got all this stuff in here, as you can see. Um, I'm not taking a whole lot in the way of you know, stuff that's easy for us to, to harvest, like wood and stone and flint in particular. Um, even fiber, we you know, that's, that's not really that heavy, but, um, you know, stuff that we can very easily get and we'll be getting plenty of over there, I'm not taking. Uh, but things like, you know, the, the organic polymer that we got when we were out on our, our uh, trip and, you know, pearls and things like that that I got out of a beaver dam, a uh, big old pile of see many paste that I also got from a beaver dam, that kind of stuff we're taking with us. Now, um, we, I had a drop up on the mountain there, um, right before, or not too long before I started the video. And so I went over there and I made myself a cryo, uh, cryopod. Uh, so those are really pretty easy to make. You can make them at any terminal uh, or any drop. Those are the ingredients that you can see there. And we had all of that stuff to make the cryopod. And so the plan for the cryopod is that we're going to, um, put the stego in there so we don't have to worry about trying to to get the stego across the mountain where it's going to be pretty dangerous and uh i'm mostly just this stego's purpose is to harvest that that's all i have it for well actually later on we will probably use her to breed too because she was a max level uh, but it's mostly just weight i want her to to be able to carry as much stuff as possible okay uh so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this thing put it in our hand and I think we just uh, how do we do this do we have to be back a little further all right it's been a while since I've used one of these <laughs> so let's it's possible that it's getting confused with the other critters that are close by so there we go <clears throat> just had to be a little closer to her so I just hold the left mouse button down and it sucks her in. And then she is now inside of the cryopod. And it shows us what, uh... oh, cool. It shows, it shows stats information too. So if you're using these like for breeding purposes, very cool. Okay. So, um, we're going to put a uh, Stega up there. Uh, I also, I don't think I told you guys this, but I did pick up a level 50 ish or so Dodicarus that was just up on the mountains there and tamed it up. So it's not anything special in terms of level, but um, it was a, it was another opportunity to him. So I'm going to have Grayla carry the Dodicarus over to our new location because I'm definitely going to want her. And then, you know, we have Rapta too, but what I'm thinking about doing with Rapta is leaving Rapta here for uh, any new players that might uh, join the server. Uh, I also unclaimed Pell-Mell for the same reason, so that way if somebody else uh, comes on, they can claim those dinos for themselves. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for Raptor just because, well, actually, you know what, though? I guess I could, I could get her on the way back because I'm going to make one more trip to grab all, all of the stuff in here or most of the stuff in here. Um, but I don't want to take it yet until I have a preserving bin on the other end that I can immediately put it inside of. So, you know, because all that stuff spoils. So maybe we'll grab Raptor. Um, on the way back uh, for the second trip. And I'll, I'll hang on to her because we could actually still use her at this point. Very good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, hop on Grela and we're going to grab our Dodicarus and we're too heavy. I was afraid that's going to probably happen. Okay, so I think what I'll do instead then is let's Let's do this instead. Let's drop the Doty. And I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to pull the saddle off of Grayla and put it on one of the other RGs and ride that RG. Because Grayla's the one that's, you know, taking all of our stuff. So it doesn't matter. These Both of these RGs are the same level. Uh, so we'll just hop on Granite here. And Granite's got a couple of points. Let's just put, let's get his health up just a little bit here. 
And then uh, we'll pick up the Dodic, and then we'll have everybody follow Granite instead. There we go. Okay. So, um, I want to get a little further out. Okay. I, I didn't want Raptor to be in whistle range, too. Uh, but if she is, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Here we go. So, yeah, if you guys didn't catch the last three episodes in a row we basically explored a good portion of the island we didn't cover the whole thing but we covered the perimeter of it and the place that i liked the most is actually just not very far away it's just right over the, on the other side of this mountain and so that's where we are going to head um we're probably tell you what let's um Let's land and get um, granite stamina all the way back up. Okay. All right, here we go. So I think we can probably make it over there without another stam break. Well, actually, maybe we can't. Yeah, he's running out of stamina pretty quickly. So we're probably going to have to take another stamina break. Hopefully we can find a spot to land that's not going to be super dangerous because we've, we've actually got to get all the way on the other side of the terminal there in fact we could probably land at the terminal because there aren't usually dangerous dino dinos right at the terminal can be though let's pop this too just to keep ourselves from getting too cold So I'm excited. Yeah, this is going to be our first um, real base. The place that we've been up to this point has just kind of been a, a starter base. Oh, well, so much for the torch. <laughs> Didn't realize it was down that far. Yeah, we, we should be fine. Because uh, cause the mount, the snow biome ends just right on the other side of the terminal, and then we'll drop down to where we're going to set up shop. Okay, there's an Argentavis down there, but... Let's just stop here for a moment. If the Arge does attack us, we can pretty easily take it out with the group here. Okay, stamina's back. Let's go. So we still need to explore the, basically the central part of the map. We've explored the perimeter, and we'll do that. I don't know if we'll do that in a dedicated session or if we'll just do it, you know, as we as we go along. Uh, but this little circular platform here is where we're going to set up shop, and it's a nice spot because uh, with a, with a few pla uh, places. It's an exception of a few places. My goodness, learn how to talk, dude. <laughs> um, it's it's very well defended uh, on most sides. So, okay. So what we're going to do here is let's tell everybody to stop following and we'll let the flyers uh, end up where they're going to go. And what I'm going to do now is... Let's actually hop on. Let's have everybody gather around the Dodic. Uh, because, you know, we could certainly get some bad guys. Put everybody on neutral except for the Dodic. I'm getting whacked by wings here. Okay, behavior. Oh, you're already passive. Okay, good. And I want to jump on Petra and just kind of do a little bit of a, of a survey here while those guys hang out over there. Okay, so... Um, we're probably going to lose that metal spawn just because I'm probably going to want to build there, but we still have you know, some metal over here, too. It's not... 
a ton of metal, but it's, it, you know, as long as we hit it on a regular basis, it'll definitely help. I'm just trying to see if there's any metal over this way. And it's also quite possible that there's, oh yeah, there's metal up here too. Good, okay. So we'll, we'll be fine with metal then. That isn't going to be a problem at all. Even if we do, you know, kind of mess up that spawn. Okay, so let's let's fly around here again. So we're going to need to put a gateway here to block that spot off. Um, I don't know. Yeah, see, this this could be a problem here because this is a ramp that probably just about anything could walk up. Well, it's not a problem, but we're just have to figure out how we're gonna secure it meaning that we either put walls down below or we put walls around it up above so probably it'll probably be easier to just wall it in down below here which is probably what I'll do um, we just have to get it to that point and then we're good Okay, so let's fly around here. So this is all good. I don't think there's anything in the game that can could actually get up there. Possible that something really huge could. Is this log a prop or is it an actual harvestable thing? Yeah, it's actually harvestable. Okay. So yeah, we don't need that there, of course. Okay, so that removes that. I don't... I wonder if that would respawn. I don't know. We'll have to keep an eye on it. If it does, then we might have to come up with a plan B. Okay, so then over here, we have another area that we're going to have to put a wall down. Uh, probably a behemoth gate will cover most of that, I would think, or pretty close to. And then here again, another ramp area that we'll have to secure. And this is yet another area that will need a gate, too. So we'll have, like, three gates in those spots. Looks like we're probably pretty secure all around through here and back to where we started. Okay, so that uh, that's kind of our survey here of the situation. And I'm kind of thinking this is where we'll, we'll put the main building just because it's really nice and flat here. We will, like I said, we'll, we'll lose this metal node, but that's okay. There's plenty of other metal around. But this whole area is just, you know, absolutely amazing in terms of being flat. Uh, so, it'll, so it'll make a nice big yard for us. And, uh, yeah, really good. We got water right there, so we'll be able to set up irrigation for farming and uh, it's looking good let's check this even though it's going to probably be worthless eh, a full set of hide armor that's not worthless we'll take it okay I'm going to run over here real quick and just see if there uh, are more metal deposits nearby as it goes back up the mountain Oh, we've got a Alpha something or other over here. Oh, it's an Alpha Rex. That would be a good kill. Uh, what level is it? One forty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Too bad that wasn't a normal Rex, because uh, then I'd be looking to tame it. Okay. Well, hopefully that thing will stay up there uh, for now. And not come down here and harass us. Okay, so once again, um, so we could build on this side. See, now here's another thing I'm thinking though. To, 
to start with, we don't have to secure this entire plateau. What we could do is just... Yeah, I wish these these stone outcroppings weren't here because these are kind of a bit of a, uh, you know, kind of problematic with them being ramps like they are. Because see, anything can just walk right up here. Um, so what I need to kind of decide then is... It might actually honestly be better to build on this side because what we could do, at least initially, is just build a wall straight across this way and wall off this whole, uh, this whole section so that we can, you know, get our base built and, and get started. And then as we build up and as resources come in, you know, then we can start securing the other part of the area to expand. So, again, I'm, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. I kind of like over here better, but, uh, okay, now another advantage to staying on that side is we don't screw up these metal spawns because I don't know what the radius is that Joe set for our bases and preventing you know respawns hopefully it's not so far that you know it would it'll mess with the these metal deposits here um this one you know we'll eventually gonna lose that no matter what but I just I like I like the idea of having the base over here better just because we have the view you know, a better view from here than we do on this other side. Not that this is a bad view. I mean, it's pretty gorgeous, actually. Got the waterfall and stuff there. But, I don't know, I just feel like... I want to build on this side. Let's go down here for a second. Got a nice deep pool here. See the other thing? Oh, there's more metal down there. Okay. Yeah, there's metal all over the place. So we don't really need to worry about it. Even if we do screw up that metal spawn, there's plenty of other metal in, nearby that's just not going to be a big deal. Uh, I'm curious how deep this pond is here. Nah, it's not very deep at all, but it's got fish in it. Good. Okay. Kind of a neat area, too. More metal up there. Okay, well, I'm, you know what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to look around just a little bit more before we totally commit. I, I'm pretty convinced I like this area. Um, so I'm going to look around just a little bit more before, like I said, before I totally commit. Um, and then I'll bring you guys back once I've made an actual decision on what in the hell is that? Oh, that... that <laughs> That's somebody's body. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's Carneth. He's actually, um, he's not dead either. He's just sleeping. It's just the, it glitched really weird. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize this. Well, actually, I kind of do remember him saying this is where he was, but I forgot. Okay. Um. Yeah, so let me look around just a little bit more, and I'll bring you guys back in, in just a little bit when I make my final decision on where we're going to set up shop. Okay, I think I've made up my mind. Here's what we're going to do. 
we are going to start over here. We're going to build a basic um, structure that we can set up shop in, but it's going to, the plan is that it's going to be um, a, temp a temporary housing, if you will. Um, so once we get up and running and get start accumulating resources, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually build our, our main base, our, our permanent base, if you will, uh, over on this side. Uh, because I think it'll be easier for us to secure temporarily uh, just, you know, this, this part over on this side. And then um, expand to the other side, you know, for the permanent build once we have our utility in place uh, with the, the first base. Okay, so that is the plan. So the next order of business then is going to be to uh, start gathering up our resources and putting together a base. Um, the base we're going to build is going to be out of stone. Um, I don't think we'll, uh, well, definitely not for this first base anyways. We're not going to mess with metal. Um, and I just don't like the way metal looks in the game anyways uh, for a base. So we're probably just going to do a stone uh, or maybe even a combination of stone and wood uh, for our first base here. So that means it's time to begin gathering resources and getting some storage down to uh, put all of those resources in. So let's go ahead and let's leave you here. And yeah, you can stay on neutral now. What what level are you? You're level 50 triceratops. Okay. Uh, so let's bring the dodic over and everybody else will follow it. Except for I was afraid that was going to happen. Damn it. Okay. Change the plan. Let's tell the Dodic to follow us. Is he? Yeah. What level are you? You're level 60. Okay. I just want to pull all the critters uh, over closer to where we're going to start working here. Okay. So we, we're going to need the Dodic. And we're also going to need the trike, too. Or not the trike, the uh, the stego. But before we pop the stego out... So the stego is supposed to be pretty good at getting wood. But I don't know if it's as good at getting wood as I am just using the hatchet. I'm not really sure about that. But what I want to do is... Where's Pella? Pella's right here. She just flew over my head. Okay. Let's have everybody follow Pella instead. And make sure she's on neutral. Or, uh, sorry, on passive. Okay. Good. Now, um... Since... Grayla's got all of our stuff in her inventory. I think we'll use a granite. And we're going to just start uh, grabbing a bunch of, of wood and cutting uh, some of these trees down around here first. Whoops. And then once we get, you know, the trees out of the way, then we use the dodic to get the stone, and then we'll pop out the stag to get the bushes. Flint, stone, and wood. Let's get a couple of those so we can repair this. All right. Let's cut some wood. Okay, so I think that gets 
the wood done pretty good. Um, let's have... Where's Pella at? Let's actually move these critters away from here because I'm going to do some harvesting. Oh, I got some a little bit heavy for her. Uh, where's wine at? Come here. Okay. Okay, let's move all of the critters over into this open area. And I can't... I guess I don't remember if... Make sure wine stays on Pella. Uh, did these guys knock down plants? Don't think they do, but let's test this. They don't. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so let's get the stone out of the way next, then. I actually want to get the stone out of the way over here first because this is the area that we want to clear. So we'll just fill the, the dodic up. I haven't even named this guy. Have I named it? Nope, I haven't. Okay, we got to name the dodic. Uh, we're going to call this dude uh, let's see, options, change name. Uh, we're going to call him Snowball, because he's a white Dodicarus. Okay. And, you know, since Snowball is not... A max level tame. Right now, I just want him to hold as much weight as he can. So we're just going to pump weight. Okay. Okay. So I think that clears all of the stone out of our main building area. So let's take and put Snowball back over here. And uh, we'll set him to neutral and have him follow. Pillow. Excellent. Um, you're probably too heavy. Yeah, you're too heavy. Then I want you to follow me over here, so we get you out of the way. <laughs> He's like major, majorly weighed down there. Come on, Granite, you can do it. Let's see what this stego is over here. Level 20, okay. Okay. He should be fine over there. All right. Next, we're going to release our steg. Wait, what are you doing? Well, eh, you're probably okay right there. And uh, we want to make sure that the sword is showing. Let's go ahead and harvest all of these berries. You know, I should save some of this stuff, though, for fiber, too, because I didn't bring a lot of fiber with me. But, I mean, we can go get that anywhere. It's not a big deal. So that clears all of the brush out of the way. We'll take uh, Stega back over here and park her next to the rest of the group. So 
So she got 665 narco berries and some other stuff too, and a point. Um, let's see, she's 62. Her stamina is, was fine that whole time. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep pumping weight on her for now. All right, so now what we need to do is let's have you follow me. And we need to start putting together some stone foundations. So you have all of the wood and a bunch of the thatch. Wine's probably got quite a bit of... Oh, for goodness sakes. Well, here, let's just start with this. Um, so he's got all this stone in here. So I'm going to take that much wood and stone. And yeah, grab some stone out of here. And we want to start making S plus stone foundations. Okay, that gave us a level. Uh, let's see, what have I been working on? I got melee damage up to 160. Our health is at 300. Our stamina is at 200. I think probably fortitude, actually. Yeah, let's let's pump fortitude a little more. Okay, I'm going to have to put the rest of the wood back in you and the rest of the stone back in you. So I can move and you just stay put. So what I'm thinking I may do is whatever structure that we build over here may eventually become our barn. I kind of need to get a, a bird's eye view though. So let's jump into our onto Petra. Let's get up high a little bit. Yeah, okay. So I think what we'll do is we'll consider this the center. This little bump right here. Let's put these foundations down here. Okay, I gotta go back up again for a second. Okay, so basically the birds lined up right at the center point, which is right here. All right, now, um, there's supposed to be a way, I thought there was a way that we could raise these up a bit more. Let's do something here. We go over to these ferns. They're just barely sticking out the top. Probably not enough to be an issue for me, though. I think this is good because I don't really want to stack these things. Stacking foundations is a major pain in the butt in this game. Uh, the thing is, though, is I thought there was a way that we could raise these. If I set it down once, 
Here, let me get lined up on the bird again. Okay, I'm gonna pick that back up. Well, here, no, before I do that, well, nope, never mind. <laughs> Pick that back up again. I thought it, okay, if we hold shift, no, I thought it was shift and then the mouse wheel. Maybe it's no, even time, even time, each time I do the mouse wheel, it's just C is crouch, G is nothing. I mean, G handles snapping, but. Those are groups. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe you maybe you you can't do that anymore. I mean, you can see how high this foundation can potentially go, though. Is there anything in the tooltip? Um, here, let's go into crafting foundation. Right click for more options. See, it doesn't say doesn't give me like any any tooltips or anything uh, what if we look at it from here s plus foundation it does say that it's stackable hmm okay well it's still possible that you can do that I just don't know how to do it But I think, especially because this is going to probably ultimately be our barn anyways, I don't think this is actually going to be a problem. I think we're, we'll be okay just keeping it on the level that it's on. Okay, so that being said, let's once again line up on the bird. Doesn't have to be perfectly lined up, but reasonably lined up. And let's see. I think I'm going to pull it in as far as I can to myself. And let's set that down there. Now, before I totally commit to this here, I want to get another one down there. Is it possible that we might want to have some kind of an access from this side. Uh, maybe like even a ladder or something. Yeah, I think the thing is, is we're going to ha have to, I mean, depending upon how large we make the building, of course. At some point, we're going to have to start curving it around, which we can do with the triangular pieces. But let's just go with this. And we're going to have this. Go out that far anyway. I'm going to actually pick up this last one. Maybe we'll just go to there for now. I could still, you know, make like a little porch that sticks out over that way and then a ladder going down just for a quick way to get back up. I probably will, in fact, to do that. Okay, so um, for this starter building, why don't we make it a seven... Well, the dino gate's two blocks. And I think I'm going to use a dinosaur gate as its main entrance. Just so that until, you know, we, we get the entire yard secured, I can put all the, the critters inside. So if the dino gate is going to take up two blocks, which it is... We, I think, and we want it in the center, which I do, then that means we want an even number of blocks. Okay, so that either means it needs to be a six by six or an eight, or no, we need to go six blocks or eight blocks. So if we went six blocks, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, 
it would be that big. I think we could probably work with that. I don't want to make it huge at this point. Yeah. Okay. That's it. I think that's what we'll do. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to keep making foundations and get, you know, get the layout and everything done here. And I'm probably not going to build anything super fancy for the, for this first building. It's probably mostly just going to be a box. And when I get that finished, um, I'm just trying to think of when I want to bring you guys back in the next episode. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> you'll know, you'll know where we are when we get to the next episode. But I, I'm going to work on this and try and get, you know, a fair ways into it. I think before we do start the next episode. All right. So that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.